I should know better than to eat from the school cafeteria. Check it out. No one packs a lunch like a mummy. And for dessert, candied worms. Mm, disgusting. Huh? Hey, you just had to act. But, uh... Huh? Huh? Uh, uh. Ma said, your box is eating my lunch. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Ah, oh, look, it's Mosshead's pet toad. Huh? You guys promise to keep this secret? Pet's not allowed in school and all. Even Thatch doesn't know about him. You got it. Promise. Uh -huh. Oh, he's kind of cute looking. I've been training him, too. He can fetch and play dead and everything. Now jump! <laughs> well, better get to science class. There's the professor now. Looks like he's up to something. Hey, Professor. Everything okay? Alas, no, Casper. I've been asked to give a speech at the annual Fire and Brimstone Luncheon. Perhaps perform my famous party trick. But it seems Alder and Dash don't think I can be spared. Couldn't you just go anyways? Not unless you can think of a way for me to be in two places at once. Huh? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Professor, you go to your luncheon. Mm -hmm. We'll cover for you. I've got a plan. Thank you, Casper. I'll leave right now, then. Here I go. <laughs> Guys, we're going to help out the professor so he can take the afternoon off. And Ma said, I'm going to need your help. <laughs> Casper, these schemes of yours always get us into trouble. Um, I don't think that should take kindly to me helping y'all. It's just a teeny favor. And the best part is, it'll get us out of lessons. Yeah! yeah. All we need to do is tell everyone, there's been a terrible accident. While working on a scientific experiment, Professor Burns was turned into... A child? Is that really you, Professor? Yep. But before it happened, the professor did say that the effects would only last for the rest of the day. So, we'll guess we'll have to skip class. Wait! Huh? Casper, this afternoon is an official inspection by Kibosh. If he sees the professor is unfit to teach, the school will likely fail its evaluation. We can't wait for the professor to change back. Take him to the school nurse. <gasps> the school nurse? The school nurse? Well, all your eyesight seems in tip-top condition. As for poor Professor Burns, it's a tricky one, all right. There is one procedure we could try to change him back to normal. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. This is it. The only surefire cure to turn a toad back into a professor is a big, wet, sloppy kiss. Could the professor get a second opinion? Nonsense! You ready for your medicine, Professor? Oh. This is cruelty to animals. I can't watch. <gasps> Run for your life! Come back Run for your life! No patient leaves without getting his treatment! <laughs> Hey, Professor D. <laughs> Prime! Uh, hey, what's Mosshead doing hanging out with Casper and those losers? Right, he should be hanging out with us losers. Hmm. <laughs> Nearly got it. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. hmm. Sorry, sir. Yeah, we... Oh. Nurse! Big sloppy kiss! What are these idiots jabbering about? And what is this? This is our esteemed professor of science who, who's accidentally turned himself into a toad. That's no excuse. And professor, no special treatment. I expect to see sterling teaching work from you. 
The professor will have to teach in his present condition. The fate of the school is in your hands. The fate of the school is in your hands? Great. Nice one, Casper. Sorry. I was just trying to do the professor a favor. Now he could lose his job and the school fail its inspection. Oops. Buck up, huh? fellas. This here's a trained toad. We can make Kibosh think he's the professor and pass that inspection easy. <laughs> Mosshead's right. We can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Good handwriting's essential for a teacher at Scare Schools. <laughs> Astounding! Even as a toad, the professor has the most remarkable penmanship I've ever seen. Hmm. Me too, fella! Uh. A teacher needs to be able to incite fear into his pupils. Good pupil terror, sick. Watch your sway, your evilness. Yes, please follow us. Mosshead and those guys are up to something, all right. Mm -hmm. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Wow, the Ooh. professor has an identical twin brother. No, you morons. Obviously, the professor never was a toad. Huh? And that means Casper made this whole oh. thing up. Yeah. Professor Bird! Yeah. It's okay, Professor. Casper told us everything. Yeah, jolly good. The luncheon ended early, and I feared being seen by Alderman Dash might get Casper into trouble. <laughs> it's all sorted. In fact, hey, why don't we take you to Casper right now? Oh, great. I'll be able to thank Casper. <laughs> when Kaibosh discovers Casper's been tricking him all day, he'll put him into detention for a thousand years. <laughs> Superb grading technique, and a perfect end to a successful inspection. Professor, you're a credit to good teaching. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. before I go, I'd very much like to see the professor do his famous party trick I've heard so much about. Oh. Oh. Party trick? I'm sure Mr. Burns would be happy to oblige. <gasps> well, get on with it. Don't keep Kaibosh waiting. Um, sir? I think the professor's tired from all that strenuous inspecting. Maybe I wasn't clear. If I don't see that party trick before I leave, the school may not pass its inspection after all. Oh! Perhaps before my famous party trick. Oh. We need his magic stuff in science class in 10 minutes. The professor did mention a party trick and then pointed to some weird package he was holding. We can't just get him to do a random party trick. Kaibosh obviously knows what it is, and we don't. <gasps> My patients always get their medicine. Kissy, kissy. <laughs> Say, why don't we duck down behind the board and surprise him? <laughs> We'll wait till Casper gets here, then spring up from behind the board and reveal the real <laughs> professor. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. 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 my job. Oh. 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 <laughs> you ready for your medicine, professor? Oh. Nurse, what's going on here? Sir, I think I may know what's going on here. That kiss turned the professor back into his old self. 
This is all rather confusing. That's perfectly understandable, Professor. You've been through a lot, but you're back to normal, and it's all thanks to this pupil. Wait, no, the toe, it was, I didn't. Don't be modest. We'll make sure the whole school gets to hear about how you saved the professor by giving him a big sloppy kiss. Uh, now, Burn, mm -hmm. how about showing Kibosh that party trick of yours? What P -p party trick? Oh, no, no, I'd really rather not. <clears throat> As a principal, I demand to see it this instant. You want the school to pass its inspection, don't you? Ah. I'm the principal of Scare School, and I demand that you all know that. I say, what's that ugly thing growing on my neck? Oh, sorry, Elder. <laughs> you know, Dash is so mean, he had two phones put in his office so he could hang up on more people. <laughs> <laughs> That's the party trick I heard about, all right? <laughs> <laughs> We need Frank and Jim teacher's help. No, we've already called him 11 times this week to get Raw out. Why on earth did you put modeling clay in the lock? To block out the sound of Thatch's snoring. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Raw. I'm going to get my Uncle Stinky. He'll know how to get you out of here. Mm. Fantastic. Making sure you squeeze all the liquid out between your fingers. Then rub the whole thing in front. And Where's Uncle Stinky? We need his help. He went that way to look for an XYZ with alternative current. That's alternating, not alternative. And it's a triple Z super alternating current plug he's looking for. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it was something like that. It's an electrical thingamajig for his fleshy scream alarm clock. <laughs> Let go of that. I need it for my ghost kettle so I can catch you in it. No, I need it for my alarm clock so I can haunt you every fleshy night of the no. week. I'm not gonna let some stinky ectoplasm scupper my invention. I'm warning you. Don't make me lose my temper. No, I'm so scared. <laughs> That doesn't look good. Where am I? What have you done? Yes! I caught a ghost in my kettle! Mm -hmm. I caught a ghost it in my kettle! It seems we've <laughs> both ended up inside your kettle. See you later, loser! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the loser now, ghost? No more going through walls for you. Oh, no. My ghost kettle will gradually strip you of all your powers. <laughs> oh, yeah? So tell me, how do you intend to get out of your ghost kettle? <laughs> Casper, Mantha, what's going on? I think we've got a problem with your dad and my oh. uncle Stinky. You did <gasps> what? You triple nincompoop! Oh. How are you calling a triple nincompoop? Uncle Stinky? Mm. Uh, Mr. Bradley? Uh, are you okay? Can you hear me? Dad! It's Jimmy! I'm here! I don't think they can hear us. Hmm? Look at the gauge. It just moved up a notch. It won't matter. In one hour, when the gauge is red, you'll be completely solid and capable of flying. Poof! No more powers! <laughs> I'll haunt you day and night till Christmas! No, mm. ah! oh, no! You don't scare me! I'll show you! Gage has changed again. It's closer to the red. I think that's a bad sign. Quick, Jimmy, we've got to open this thing. If Uncle Stinky loses his powers, he won't be a ghost anymore. <laughs> ah! This kettle is impossible to open. There must be a blueprint around here somewhere. Stinky! There it is! I'll 
get it. This way. <laughs> what is that? Sorry, it's just my uncle. Ah! <laughs> Happens all the time. Huh? Ah! Uh -oh. oh. I think we need to be a little more discreet. I'll be right back. Hmm. Huh? That's great, Mantha. Come on, we've no time to lose. Oh. 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 Ah. <laughs> Keep up, Mantha. <laughs> Hey, huh? kid, do you mind opening the door for me, please? Huh? Of course. Not now, Casper. Uh, oh. No! no. Uh, it's heading for the supermarket. Uh, Come on, let's go. See that? A bouncing kettle. Oh, come on, a bouncing kettle. Stop telling stories just to get my attention. Next thing I know, you'll be telling me you saw a zombie reading a newspaper. <laughs> Mom, how did you know? Oh, look at that pretty kettle with all those lights. It's mine. I must have it. No, oh. it's mine. No. 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 Oh, my God. I, I want have that to have I want that kettle. Hmm. No rubbing in the aisles, kid. Uh, this isn't a playground, you know. <gasps> Hang on, Dad! Nice job. Oh, thanks to you, we'll end up like a couple of popsicles. Samantha, I got a plan. A zombie! Help! Are you all right, little boy? A zombie! Yes! No! It's mine! Let me handle this, Casper. There's no time to lose. Thanks, Mantha. Even I was scared. No problem. Did you say something, honey? I can't even open the lid! Ew, I could have thought a mini stinky would smell this bad. Mm -hmm. They're stuck forever in Dad's ghost kettle! My dad, king of the short circuit. A short circuit? That's it! Of course, what could be easier? And do you know how to create a short circuit? I do oh. know! I saw it in a movie. All we have to do is link the kettle to a TV antenna that we've turned into a lightning rod. The rod will attract lightning and short circuit the kettle! Yay! Let's go! Okay, here I go. 
Now we just have to wait for lightning to strike. Huh? Uh, Jimmy, I'm not saying this isn't a good plan. I just don't think it's gonna rain anytime soon. Maybe we could do a rain dance. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's hopeless. <laughs> oh no, that bird, it's gonna... I'm on it. Hello, Mr. Bird. Um, do you think you could possibly... Oh no. Catching you was a real honor. And it was an honor to have been caught by you. Mm -hmm. ah! oh! No. Gotcha. Huh? Phew. Phew. Huh? Mm -hmm. If the kettle gets stuck, open it by pressing the lid down, then turning to the right. And to the left! To the right and to the left. Dad! You okay? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? I think I just took a nap, son. Uncle Stinky! What's going on? Where am I? Oh, ghosts and a zombie? It's nothing, Dad. Just some friends getting ready for Halloween. Let's go. No, oh, it's my lucky day. It's a triple Z super alternating current plug. Just what I need for my alarm clock. Oh, you're just in time for afternoon tea. I was just starting to get hungry. A nice mug of warm toast milk with caterpillar honey. Yeah, it soothes the soul. I just had the strangest dream while I was napping. I was locked in a kind of teapot. <laughs> Sounds crazy, I know. I was totally stuck. No way out. Stuck? Rob! You who? Is anybody there? Casper? Mantha! Yeah. 